Hi, I'm Jody Purple on Three. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by today. We are here on location in Kelowna, British Columbia, with a special guest. Yeah, I'm Eddie from the channel Windy Therapy, and I'm grateful to have and welcome Jody Purple on Three and Tommy G to Kelowna in the Okanagan Valley. And we're actually sitting in our campground here, and we're gonna have the opportunity to set up my 2021 Leisure Light pop up camper and show you guys how easy it is to get it done. If you have seen my channel in the past, you may have seen a couple videos that we made about our friend Spider Wayne. You can see one of those videos right here. He has one of the camper trailers. It's called a Mini Mate. Mini Mate and Leisure Light are the two most popular camping trailers. And we wanted to have this opportunity with Eddie to show you his. Now, Eddie was so busy that he couldn't fly his camper and motorcycle all the way to Pennsylvania. So we rode 8,000 miles to come here to see Eddie and to have this opportunity for him to show us his wonderful leisure light pop-up camper. So let's give her. Yeah. <laughs> so this unit here is the 2021 Leisure Light XL. But I have to tell you guys that the Leisure Light company was sold to Sunlight Trailers. Sunlight Trailers managed to improve the quality. The name remains the same. Instead of being Excel, it's just Excel 2. So I'm going to start showing the main options of this unit. The first one is the rear storage box. And as, as you can see, you can put a lot of stuff in it. Wow. I have my hammock. I have a my power cords i have a, a camping chair that's usually what i put most of the weight you have to keep the back of the unit as heavy as possible to reduce the tongue weight and it's about four feet oh, wow. wide it goes all the way all across, the way across. Wow. next option the spare tire it's not something that comes with the unit it's down there out of the way uh, but it's something nice to have in case you get a flat tire you ever had a flat tire not so far, not the wood. Good. <laughs> Next option, which is the final one, is what they call front storage pod, which is a unit made in fiberglass, very nice and light, and you can put a lot of gear inside. Good option to have, and I really recommend it. Does this have to be kept a certain weight? You have to be cautious to make sure you don't have a lot of weight at the hitch. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you want to make sure it stays within 10% of the overall weight. So this unit is about 450 pounds, you want to make sure the tongue weight is about 45 to 50 pounds maximum. So you have to always make sure there's a balance between the front storage and the back. So you don't want to put too much weight here. You don't want to put too much weight there. And also what I do to check that, I use a luggage scale, ah, those cheap ones. So yeah. I just use that to see what the weight actually is. And that's really, really helpful for me. Eddie, what kind of things do you put in uh, the front storage? I tend to put more light uh, equipment and, and, and materials. I have here the awning, I have a little pan here, the lock for the wheels. Is that popcorn I see? Yes, I even got popcorn. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I didn't even know they still made that stuff. They do. Okay. And, uh, and I have the pegs and the bungee cords to help to set up the awning. The oh. lever and a hammer to... Uh, That's lightweight. Yes, and it's for protection as well. So something good to have, which the unit didn't come with, is a, it's a level, right? It probably costs about $2. So I have one on the side and one in the front, so I can make sure the unit's properly leveled. The unit also has LED lights all the way around. And what I also did was to incorporate some uh, reflective strips on the sides and the back by, uh, by the jacks something cheap to do but really increase the safety of the rider and here you can see the specs uh, the weight and the size of tires and pressure this is the third season towing this unit all the way across British Columbia I probably went through eight to nine campgrounds uh, towing with my Triumph Trophy SE which is right there beautiful bike. which does the job uh, reasonably well just one more hack that's important to share add a PVC pipe all the way across the railing here, which minimizes or avoids scratches if you park or if you're camping in a, uh, in a gravel road or in a place that's kind of rough. This stuff protects the unit and makes sure you have no scratches. So Eddie, how long does it take to set up this camper? I'll say it's about two minutes, two and a half minutes. So it's very quick. Wow. It's very easy to get out of the rain if it's raining. So 
I'll ask you to be my official timer. I got my stopwatch and ready. To make sure I'm not lying. Uh, <laughs> okay. And it's very fast to do. If you put the awning, it will take another five minutes or so. But the most important stuff is to make sure that if the weather's bad, you can get it set up as fast as you can and be out of the weather. All right, you ready? Let's give her. Three, two, one, and go. First thing we're gonna do is to put the rear jacks down, just like so. You just step down, step on it. So now the unit's nice and secure. The front jack is already down for logical reasons, because otherwise it would be facing down. The unit is reasonably leveled, so we're gonna keep as is, nothing to change. So now we're gonna just open the lid. Usually it's kind of tight in the beginning. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Now we're gonna go inside. We're gonna put one pole up, put the second one here. There's just two screws to hold it in place. Even have time to put open the windows. Oh wow. Without burning my time. I'm gonna put the, the sun protection of the window here. Same process on the other side. Close the door now. So now we just need to go around, make sure the skirt is all the way around outside of the fiberglass tub. And that's it. That's the time it took. How long did it take? One minute, 58 seconds and 0.18, whatever that is. Good job, yeah. that's awesome. Done. So now we're gonna go inside. I'll show you how it is, show you some features. Awesome. So let's open the, the mosquito net. Again, this is something that some units don't have. Ah. So the bugs won't get in. And you can use this side as your front door or the back. So you have two options. Two doors? Two doors. So, wow. so depending which way you're going, Come inside. Look at this. We can all three be in here at yeah. the same time. Wow. And uh, so the bed is basically a double bed and you can get a foam piece or you can get a double uh, inflatable mattress. I decided to use two single ones just in case one gets a hole. Yeah, so you don't, good idea. <laughs> so at least one person can sleep well. And the only <laughs> stuff I do here is to open this stuff and you still have a lot of space here as a an area to change your clothes or to put your clothes inside, your bags. So everything's going to be outside of the elements of the weather. Uh, what I call nightstands, where you can put your cell phone, water bottoms, whatever you want to put beside you. Four windows, two on the sides, one front and back. Plus another storage area here where you can put all kinds of things that you want to nice. have handy to you. We thought of a lot of features here with this. And you can stand. Yeah. I have no trouble at all. <laughs> now I'm six foot. This is probably at the lowest point. It's probably six two, six yeah, three. Yeah, six three, I'd say. So still, we still have a lot of headroom. We can walk around. So if it's raining outside, you can put two chairs here, have your coffee, and not be and not be exposed to the elements. Right. So first thing I need to do to make sure you have the right uh, bed size is to lift the small piece here at the end. There are two legs here. And what we normally do, we use the bottom piece as a storage area, so you can put two, oh. the bags underneath. There's a lot of space there. And I have two self-inflated mattresses, which are pretty good. They are four and a half inches thick, very comfortable, not cheap, but very comfortable. And I'm just gonna lay down as is. They're not fully inflated, but gives an idea how much space you're gonna have. And again, I'm a six foot guy. Oh, you got space left over. See, I'm not touching, I'm no. not touching the, the back, and my feet is not sticking out. Good night. <laughs> But it's, it's pretty, pretty big, right? Yeah. And what the Mini Mate doesn't have is the fact that you don't have this space. Right. Right. Or you're in sleeping or you're out. Yeah. So that's why uh, Spider Wayne decided to buy what they call the Ed a room, room. Yeah. to allow him to have an enclosure to change, to put his gear inside. Again, there are two options in the market. Mini Mate is a great one, was one of the units I was considering. The Leisure Light is also an excellent option 
a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. But the reason why I chose this one is because the manufacturer is a, an hour and 45 minutes away from my home. That was a selling feature for me in case I need to buy parts or get maintenance. Uh, the Leisure Light, well now it's called the, the Sunlight Trader Unit, the XL2, is actually made in Osoyoos, British Columbia which is right on the border with Washington. So it takes about an hour and 45 minutes from here. So now I'm gonna show you the second door. Like I mentioned, there's there two doors, two screen nets. There's Velcro at the bottom, so you're not gonna get no creatures crawling into the unit. And that, and this is the second door. Oh my Very goodness. spacious, a lot of space to come in. So you could zip, oh, come on out here, cameraman. You could zip this up and have cross, more cross ventilation yep. if you had you, both. Yeah, you can tie just the screen net to the side if you want. Yeah. Or it's just the external door. What we normally do, I just tie the external door and then I leave the screen net open. You can get a lot of ventilation oh, yes. throughout the day. Buddy, you've shown us some wonderful features. Have you had to use it in rain? How waterproof is it? I did get several camping days with rain, which is not ideal as we all know. No. Uh, but I didn't get wet. And one of the main benefits of this unit is the fact that it has an extra rain fly oh. that's removable. You can even remove it. And the top here is waterproof, so you have a second layer of protection to make sure the water is not gonna get in. And if you guys are interested, I just did a video showing how to waterproof it. Uh, that video link is right here. So far, I never had issues. I don't know how thick this canvas is, but it's very, very durable. Why would you want to take that off? Good question. Yeah. I, I don't know. I would <laughs> remove it because why would you, right? Not only protects from the rain, but also keeps all the dirt away from the top of the canvas because the top is white. So Eddie, this is the top of the trailer when it's not up. Now it's the bottom, it's the floor. Do you have any concerns about that cracking with the weight of people inside? That's a good question. You can go inside. Okay. The older units, they used to have a reinforced option, which used to be an option. Now it's pretty much standard. So right now we have three people, you no, know, the both of us and the cameraman right there. <laughs> so we have about, without disclosing weight, you know, we have about 600 pounds. See? See? There's feet. So we have about 600 pounds right now, give or take. And I'm not hearing any cracking, anything else. So it is pretty durable. Uh, again, you have to be mindful. Have you ever timed yourself taking this down? It's more or less the same time. You just tend to spend a little bit more time just to make sure everything is done properly. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's more or less two to three minutes. Feel like breaking a record today? I'll try. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. <laughs> so. On your mark, get set, and go. Let's give her. So now we're just gonna go inside, and all we need to do here is put the poles down, just two screws, one each side, and that's it. That's it, now we can fold it. So all we do is just start pulling like so. be careful when the, the lid comes down, make sure you don't get hurt. And there's this pole that comes with the unit and gives you enough space to go around and cut all the fabric inside the unit. Make sure you don't keep your fingers here just in case the, the lid comes down. This is the part I don't rush because I want to make sure that the canvas is not going to get stuck when I close it. And that's pretty much it. So then I use the stick to help me to make sure the canvas is all the way in. Often you have to go around. You can see how it goes here. So there's a little bit of canvas sticking out. You're going to put, the, put it back in. How does it look so far? Looking good. And that's it. Put the latch on and that's done. Last piece, make sure you put the counter pin. You want to make sure this lid will not open when you're riding, which did happen before oh, to some people, not me. And that's it. What is your world record time for this? Three minutes. Whoa. Two minutes, 31 seconds. Rock Great on. job. Yay. <laughs> now let's go camping.
As you may or may not know, in August 2023, there were a significant number of wildfires in Canada and specifically in the Kelowna area while we were there. We continue to lift up in prayer those who lost their homes and are grateful for all the responders who fought the fires and kept residents safe. Thank you so much, Eddie. Windy Therapy, please check his channel out here. He's got a great channel. He's been a great mentor to me. And I thank you for hosting us. Thank you for showing us your wonderful camper. Glad to help. I'm glad you guys came over. Uh, I hope the demonstration was uh, sufficient for you guys to understand how it is. But at least I was able to demonstrate I could, could have done below two minutes. All right. Well, I'm Jody, Purple on Three. I'm Eddie from Windy Therapy. Camera Guy, PSP Tommy G. And remember, everybody, to begin each, each and, and every, every day, day with, with gratitude. gratitude. You did it. Oh my gosh, Eddie, <laughs> tell her stuff. Well, she's uh, she's a pro already. So. <laughs> Thanks again, Eddie. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Let's go camping. <laughs>